Hey folks, welcome back to Green Iron TV. We have the 57 millimeter anti-tank gun back from the sandblasters. Everything is cleaned up, looking beautiful. And I uh, really want to thank Mike and Christy at Master Blaster for doing an excellent job getting this thing knocked out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take advantage of the nice weather while it's still here. And uh, we're going to get this thing in prime and in paint. So hopefully today's project is going to be uh, getting in prime, getting a few little pieces off and uh, you know, get this thing all set and rolling. So well, uh, Veterans Day is rolling up on us quick. It's actually probably going to be passed by the time this video actually comes out. But uh, that is our goal is to get this, this cannon uh, back painted and marked uh, before uh, Veterans Day so that uh, we can uh, basically uh, take it to the Veterans Day celebration and it uh, it will be basically premiered there for the veterans for the American Legion. So, As always, I want to thank you guys for watching and following along. Please make sure you, you know hit the like button, uh, leave a comment, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. We are, we are in the last little bit of a stretch to get to the, the Magic 1000. Um, I really, really would love to get to the 1000 mark. Um, and so we can only do that by uh, you guys hitting that subscribe button. So please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, and always check out the link down below in the description for the Green Iron TV merchandise store. Hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, all kinds of neat things in there. So uh, make sure you watch for that. So. Other than that, we're going to get at it and uh, try and take advantage of this nice weather while it's still here. So, thanks a lot. Okay, we just picked up the 57 millimeter from the sandblasters. Absolutely beautiful. Spectacular job. We are loaded on the trailer and we're going to bust our way home. And we are going to get some prime and paint on this vehicle. Okay, now that we got it back from the uh, sandblasters, one of the things we want to do is we want to get the box off. As you can see, this box is pretty rotten, and if we look down in it, she is Swiss cheese. So we're going to get this box off, and uh, eventually I'm going to try and rebuild this box, uh, or at least refabricate some of the main parts of it. Uh, and of course, we want to get the, uh, the placard off and get that saved. And then, uh, then we're going to go ahead, and it's a beautiful day. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing in primer. Just not enough for that nut left. We're going to have to resort to violence. We will re-keep that little bracket because when we rebuild the bottom of this, we will weld that on. Uh, 
All right. Now we can see the ravages of 70 years of sitting outside. And uh, so we'll, we'll see if we can rebuild this into something. All right, let's see if we can get these screws loose, huh? All right, we'll want to set that off to the side, and we're gonna we're gonna end up probably uh, I'm gonna probably fill the the background in, buff the top, and then we'll clear this. Okay. We're ready to hit with prime. It's a little breezy outside, a little more breezier than I'd like, but uh, we gotta get it done with the weather that we got. So uh, we're gonna, we moved it a little bit farther away from the barn and uh, some stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna let it fly out here in the wind.
Well, there's one coat of OD Green. We'll let that dry up a little bit and then we'll give it a second coat. Well, is it a perfect paint job? Of course not. I painted it outside. It's got a bug or two in it, a couple specks of dirt, and uh, this thing has got so many complex angles and hard to get at spots that yes, there are a couple little runs here and there in it. But guess what? For a display piece that's going to be sitting outside uh, at the American Legion Hall, it's going to look really good. It's going to look a lot better than it did. So that's what the goal is. All right, folks, now to wrap up this episode of Green Iron TV, we have the 57 millimeter anti-tank gun all done in prime and paint. Uh, the sandblasters did an absolutely beautiful job uh, getting this unit stripped. And, uh, you know, we got it back in prime and paint. It's looking good. Uh, we're progressing along. It won't be long to have this thing all finished up. Um, then we can get it back on display with the American Legion Hall. So, uh, <clears throat> I did not paint this in the proper color. This is actually painted in uh, 24087, which is the uh, Vietnam post-Korean War Vietnam era color. And it is a semi-gloss. Uh, and, and as you can see, the, the gun does have a little bit of sheen to it. Um, this is not the proper color for what should be on the cannon. Uh, it should be a, um, a muted color, uh, like uh, the World War II 319 green or the late war uh, dark green. So both of those were a matte color. Uh, but being that this gun is going to go back outside on display at the American Legion, um, I figure this uh, semi-gloss is going to help keep it looking better and longer. Uh, of course, it is also, like I stated earlier, it's what I had left in stock. And uh, so I have been doing this whole entire project uh, out of my pocket. My, my friend Cal and I are doing the, the restorations on these for the uh, American Legion. And uh, we are doing these out of our pocket, out of the goodness of our heart, to uh, to help restore these for the American Legion and uh, to keep them from basically rotting into the ground. Uh, you know, it, it, nothing worse than watching history sit there and rot into the ground. So, you know, we're going to stay active on keeping these things up and maintained and looking good. And uh, that is our goal with this. Um, and of course, that is the American Legion's going to be very, very, they're, well, they are very thankful for uh, the efforts that we're putting into these to make them look good for their behalf. So, anyway, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching along. Um, we are getting close to the Magic 1000 subscribers. Uh, it would be really, really awesome to hit that real soon. Uh, we're just over 100 or so away. So, you know, if you're watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. All that's going to do is help us keep going on all our good Green Iron Madness. Um, and it's a chance for you to watch along and follow all our, our Green Iron. Um, and of course, like always, take a moment, hit that like button, and leave a comment. Uh, we love to hear from everybody, so I try and respond back to everybody's uh, comments. So take the moment, 
leave a comment. I am going to try, and I will try and leave you a comment back. So, thanks a lot. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoy enjoying the uh, work we've been doing on this 57 millimeter anti-tank gun. And, uh, you know, the, the goal is to have this ready for Veterans Day. And actually, probably by the time you watch this, it'll either be, it'll, Veterans Day, I gotta look at the schedule and see how this is gonna come out. More than likely, this is gonna come out just a day or two before Veterans Day. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're watching it, please make sure you thank a veteran for all their past service. Um, without them, it would be a whole different world around here. So, thank you to all our veterans. Um, and, of course, thank you guys for watching along. So, you guys have a great day, and we'll keep you posted. Next up on this, we are going to uh, put some markings on it. Uh, the guys at Delta Team Decals. I've got some, some markings for me for it. So we're going to do some stars. Uh, the name of the American Legion post down the barrel. The American Legion and, and post numbers on the arms. And uh, might even throw a surprise in there for you guys. So stay tuned because that's what the next episode will be. Is um, Hopefully it will be us getting this thing in markings. So Thanks a lot. And you know what? You guys have a great day.